happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and um, uh, it was neat to see the kids uh, come in with their shoes today and, and uh, help us with our shoe drive. They all brought in pairs of shoes, and we're getting ready to head over to one of the community churches to uh, help uh, with Thanksgiving dinner over there. So um, giving back a little bit and uh, thankful for our blessings, and, uh, and uh, thank you. happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Um, today we finished up a good red zone play in one of the areas I thought that we needed to improve on from last game. Um, you know, we, we had been really, really good prior to UCLA about our red zone efficiency. And I thought last game, especially in the second half, there were a couple drives that led to field goals rather than uh, finishing them off. So uh, finalized that plan today as well as uh, our um, uh, coverage plan and return plan and special teams. Um, Primarily, uh, coming into this game pretty healthy. Um, uh, getting some guys back like Josh Fatu, uh, we th will be back. Lockett will be back, as you saw today, and, and really entering the game uh, fairly healthy. So um, cross our fingers, uh, we stay healthy, and uh, look forward to a great rivalry game versus Notre Dame. With that, I'll answer any questions that you got. Uh, no, nah, he just pumps and bruises. Just pumps and bruises, but nothing major. Not rehab or something else? No, no, it just it bumps and bruises. I have an important question for you. Yes. What is your ideal Thanksgiving meal? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm a big I'm a big turkey stuffing guy. That's for that's for sure. There'll be about three piles of stuffing for sure. Uh, I'll have and uh, I, I do like the turkey and I, we have a tradition on Thursdays. Uh, on Thursdays, uh, my wife makes wings for me uh, Thursday. So she said, on this streak, baby, we're not we're not changing the streak. So I think I got wings today too, which I'm looking forward to also. So turkey and wings. I mean turkey and wings, and there'll be a lot of bird on the table. Kind of wings. Uh, hot wings. Hot wings. You uh, you mentioned yesterday with Rojo and his confidence. Yeah. Does he ever mention to you his dreads and and feeling kind of <laughs> lost without his dreads? I did. I did hear that. I did hear it from here, but I, I heard it from one of the coaches saying that. <laughs> He felt different yeah. without his dread, so maybe he's got his groove back after a couple hundred yard games yeah. that he's learned that uh, he can do it without it. I got the second play, uh, 11 on 11. Uh, it was obvious you were not smiling out there. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you called them. What was? Uh, it was yeah. It was early, and it was actually the first period, and I wanted to set the tone. Usually, when you get on, you get on the holiday, and and the guys are a little bit giddy. Um, you know, I wanted to address it right off the bat that there wouldn't, uh, that for the little bit over an hour that we're out here, that there would be extreme focus on our job and uh, was not going to let it go on for too long. So I let it about go for about three plays into the into the first period of practice and and basically called them all up and said, understand that we've got a, a good hour's worth of work here that we've got to prepare red zone wise, finish up special teams and prepare for Notre Dame prior to eating that turkey. So. Um, um, I just wanted to make sure the tone was set for the day. What, what has Sam done to improve ball security from his first few starts? I think one of the things that you see, he's not taking the heavy hits. You know, you, you don't see him running high. He's getting what's there and getting down or getting out of bounds or his pad level when he is getting hit is there plus two arms at contact. He, you know, the ball is getting wrapped up rather than staying in his hands. Um, so I, th I think he's done a good job there. Um, the, the next part of that is obviously, you know, we've had a couple decision-making things, that, you know, in the passing game um, that uh, are going to be important as we go down the stretch here. Um, just um, creating, but uh, creating safely. Uh, you know, so um, he's learned how to protect the ball from a fumble issue, knock on wood, and uh, now in the passing game, just being a little bit more smart. When you go through your Thanksgiving list, how? I will say I'm beyond that list. Uh, very high, as well as all our players. I told our kids, you know, I, uh, uh, you always wake up and you, you thank the people that uh, you're thankful for. And uh, I immediately reached out to my wife and my kids and this football team this morning because I'm thankful for the people I have in my life and the people that uh, surround me. Um, they make me smile every day. And, and Sam's one of them. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the Notre Dame game will end like. Will you guys watch like Colorado Utah together, or will you do anything to 
Yeah, you know, we, um, we've got a busy weekend. It is a rivalry week. Uh, we also have a recruiting weekend also, um, you know, so, uh, and we've got that game coming on. So I, we'll, we'll be doing multiple jobs. Um, and uh, once we get done with the game, and uh, I, w I would bet that there'll be some eyes on that uh, 430 ball game. Text Kyle Whittingham and say, good luck. <laughs> no question. I hope practice is going really well for him right now. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. All right, have a great day.